this scared the hell out of me because I was like, I didn't know how to do this. And I was just, I was actually just researching for a, a couple of articles because I was going to shill crypto trader and I trust. That's right. Uh, hey, it is what it is. I don't lie to you. So with this one, I found this article and this is what it says. I was like, damn it. This is only for Americans, just so you know. The deadline to file a 2020 individual federal return and paying tax has been extended May 17th. So that's why I've been talking about it on this channel. Like, I think that usually crypto universe does pretty well in uh, right after April 15th because Americans all pay their taxes. I know America is in the whole world. I get it. But we're a kind of a good sized chunk in the crypto uh, sphere. So like people like me, we don't have time to, or don't have the uh, funds to actually put more in. We got to actually take some out and pay our tax. Just how it is. So usually you see at the end of April, May, then things start to really shoot up. So I think that this is going to be great, uh, especially with the Coinbase IPO and maybe an ETF that uh, gets approved. Who knows? Then we start to see May, June, July is going to be just, uh, just bananas. So that's what's happening. But this is what was interesting. Um, most states are following the extended federal deadlines and a few have adopted even more extensions. Uh, tax deadline remains. This year, the first estimated tax deadline remains April 15th. Here's what the IRS says. Individuals, including sole proprietors, partners, and S-corps, shareholders, generally have to make estimated tax payments if they expect to owe a tax of 1000 bucks or more when the return is filed. Corporations generally have to make estimated tax payments if they expect to owe tax of 500 bucks or more when their return is filed. So just so you know, reach out to your CPA or to the, the place you do your tax and go, is this true in my state? Do I have to pay right now? And then I can file in May. We I always ask for an extension and file in October, but I still got to pay. So that's just how it is. Everybody's got to pay. So that's what's going on, which leads me to my last points. First of all, if you're struggling with getting everything together for your uh, your taxes, use CryptoTrader.tax, okay? I've used it for two years now. The first year from the time I signed up, got logged in, put all my information in, and sent it to my accountant to review, it took me 30 minutes. This time, it took a little bit longer because I had to wait for Voyager's CSV file, which sucked. But I mean, hey, it was it is what it is, and I had to wait. But everything else was done, and she's a god, and everything's good. So... Uh, in the link in the description, there is in the link in the description. In the description, there's a link, and it's it goes to CryptoTrader.tax. You get 20% off for viewers of Dan. On top of there's a video that explains exactly how to use uh, the information or how to put the information in. A video I did. It's like 15 minutes. Very simple. And then lastly, there's also a link to this web page where you can enter to win a $300 uh, unlimited tax report. Just put your first name and email enter to win, they draw one every single week. So whichever you want to do, you want to try to win one big one, sure. Or you want to just get things done, just sign up for crypto trade, it's not that much. So that's that part. Lastly, if you're sick of paying taxes like me, which is why I'm probably going to move, uh, take a look at a, a crypto IRA. And uh, what's great about that is that, first of all, if you have a traditional IRA, uh, old employer plan like a 401k, 403b, or a military TSP, if you're about to retire for a military TSP, just so you know, or a 457, you can move it over tax and penalty free to a crypto IRA with iTrust. Look in the description. There's a video I talked about between all the difference, like a Roth, a SEP, and a traditional IRA and how this all works. And then also just so you know, uh, these are tax free when you put them in there and you can actually trade inside your IRA tax free when it's in there. And then lastly, in quarter two, which is like right now, they're going to be able to allow you to uh, stake ethereum and polka dot and then all the rewards are also tax-free so that's pretty great so uh, whatever you want to do link in the description and that is it for today so first of all thanks for sticking with me i know it was a bit of a rant a lot of great things going on it's gonna be a fantastic year if you like today's video give it a thumbs up it helps tremendously also consider subscribing a lot of things we talked about are time sensitive like we just talked about and that is it for today so thanks so much for watching i do appreciate it i'll see you on the next one